Hello and welcome once again to the Fusion HCM Tidbit videos from ERP Web Tutor. And in today's episode, we are going to show you a very simple uh, way of distinguishing your production and your test instances. And this can be very useful for all your clients. So before we get there, let's see what we do. Now, ERP Web Tutor, in partnership with Horizon Consulting Group, is now offering full services for your HCM. Uh, and ERP implementation and support. So if you have any need for your HCM uh, and ERP and Teleo implementation, upgrade, uh, training, end user adoption strategy, uh, planning, if you need any services, please get in touch with us. You can email us at admin at the rate erpwebtutor.com or you can call us on the phone number that you can see on your screen. So with that, Let's go into the application and see how we can distinguish our non-production environment from our production. So here I am in the application. My instance just got refreshed and now it looks exactly like my production environment. Now what do I do to make it uh, easy to distinguish that this is not my production and when my business users are logging into the test or dev instance to try out something it should be very obvious to them that they are working on a non-production environment versus a production. So for that, what we are going to do, we're going to change the appearance of the screen, of the background, uh, whatever you think is enough to make it distinct. So we will show you certain steps. The very first step that you need to do is uh, to change the background and also maybe uh, writing that this is a test instance just to make it more obvious. You need to turn on a sandbox. So I have a sandbox that I can access going to manage sandboxes. And you can see that I, I do have a sandbox that I created just and I, I'm calling it to change the look and feel to distinguish test and prod. So make sure that you set your uh, sandbox as active in order to perform these tasks. And now I can see that I am in this sandbox. The first thing that I will do is I'm going to go to my navigator and I'm going to go to appearance. From my appearance, what I can do is I can change the background color and also the background image to make it different from my production environment. So this one, it says that it's the background watermark facets. So what I will do is Let's change it to watermark leaves instead. Something that is different from what you have in your production. And another thing that I would recommend is to change the background color. So I just clicked on it and I'm just waiting for the colors to show up. Let's see. So I'm going to change this from blue to maybe green or something so that it's just, <clears throat> it's different. So once I have done this, I can apply my changes. And you can do a lot of things. You can change the icon size, just make it more and more obvious. Uh, but uh, I'm just doing, showing you that what you can do uh, as the necessary, the bare minimum steps. The other thing I often uh, prefer to do is to add something that clearly says that this is test instance, okay? Uh, as you can see here, I already have a different background with a different background image color, clearly sets my test apart from my production. So one last thing that I will do is I'm just going to somebody, if people are still not convinced that this is not uh, production, this is test, and it's okay to do any kind of transactions to try different things. What you can do is on the home page, you can uh, just put a text that says it's it's a, a test instance. So for that, I'll go back to the drop down from my name and I'm going to customize the global page template. So it's going to be visible throughout the pages and not just on the home page. Now, in here, I am in the, uh, I'm trying to customize this template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this section. As you can see that this is a blue line that just gets highlighted. 
So I just selected this region and I'm going to add something that so that I can add um, a text that says this is test instance. So click on the plus icon at the bottom of the page and click on the components, open, and you are going to add a text. So click on add. As you can see already behind the scenes that there's already a text box that has been added. So I can close this now. And what I'm going to do next is I need to uh, get into the design mode. So it just makes it easier for me to change my text. And uh, I can click on edit text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a fairly large size so that uh, it's just makes it, you know, choose the right size that you feel is, is right for your audience. So I'm going to say that uh, test instance. And you can choose whatever color you want, whatever font you want. You, you have all these choices. You know, that's it doesn't matter. But once I have entered the text that I'm happy with, I'm just clicking, going to click on done editing. And now you can see that it's already showing that this is a test instance. So I can now close. And it should still show me that this is a test instance. And even if I try to go to a different page, let's say I'm going to go to new person. As you can see, I am on the new person page. And even now I can see that this is my test instance, ensuring that the users are aware that they are making a transaction in a non-production environment. Hopefully that was useful. You can try it out in your next project. The client should appreciate this little change in their environment. If you like this video, please like and share with your friends and colleagues. Do check us out on the web at www.erpwebtutor.com and we have a bunch of HCM courses and financial courses out there that I'm sure that you will love. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.